Call of Duty is a game that has been around for a very long time, and it has survived for almost two decades. The first one was released back in 2003, and then followed by more than 19 games all carrying the same name of Call of Duty. According to wikipedia.org, most of them use the IW engine, a game engine created and developed by Infinity Ward for the Call of Duty series. The engine was originally based on id Tech 3 as its core. Since the engine itself is proprietary with inclusion of GTK Radiant by its software. Keep it professional, Bell. Of course, every time a new Call of Duty game gets dropped, the IW engine was upgraded and well equipped for the new game and sometimes even for the new generation of gaming consoles. Often the engine created new leaps when it comes to visual fidelity and graphical immersion, as well as new features that help reach new heights in realism and gaming mechanics. For example, if we take a look at the advanced tessellation system called displacement mapping, we will see that this tool allows the engine to create high resolution geometry in real time or terrain surfaces that were very flat in previous Call of Duty games. Real geometry mapping that imitate the rocks, crags and the smaller details found in real time terrains. This represents a significant increase in geometry fidelity that was happening in real time in the IW engine. Another great new feature of the upgraded IW engine is called Subdeep. This is a technique that takes a block of geometry and builds them into perfectly smooth curves. It is true that this has been around for some time now and existed in all types of 3D engines and software, but the breakthrough of the Call of Duty developers is that it has been utilized in real time inside the engine. If you take a closer look at some of the rocky environments inside the game with the sub-D feature turned off, you will see that the edges are jagging because of the normal poly count. However, with this new tool turned on, it will be very visible to the eye that the poly count has been increased drastically. Moreover, what is more amazing about this feature is that it will continue to subdivide in real time as you get closer and closer to the objects. So no matter how close you get, none of the geometry will break down. This helps the developers to optimize the Call of Duty games very efficiently, making it very easy to control poly count when making a video game. Now let's get into more details. If you take a closer look at the player's hands and weapon, with all the technology running in the background, you can see how resolution textures, subdeep, the lighting, and other technologies allow the developers of the IW engine to show the world with all the details inside the Call of Duty video games. Things like cuts, scratches, sweat, and other natural imperfections. Of course, there are other features that have been implemented constantly into the game engine throughout the development of different video games. I mean the Call of Duty video games, feature that improved the lighting quality and density and further improved the natural look of the game. For example, when playing the game, you can notice how light affects the player's vision. Just like in the real world, when you look at something dark and then turn your head to look at something bright. Your eyes will try to adapt to the difference of lighting, not to mention all the new volumetric fog effects and HDR volumetric lighting and real-time ADSR that made the IW engine a real joy to watch. When it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Warzone, Infinity Ward rebuilt the engine completely through their Poland Studios. It took 5 years to create the IW8 version of the engine, which featured various different upgrades such as spectral rendering, volumetric lighting, NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling, and support for hardware accelerated ray tracing of the PC version. It was confirmed that Activision was determined to share the new engine across the board for all its developers in the making of the new Call of Duty titles. That's why we can see that Call of Duty Vanguard is powered by the same version of the engine used in Modern Warfare and Warzone, with new improvements from the developer Sledgehammer Games. However, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was developed on a highly upgraded version of the IW9 engine, which was co-developed by Infinity Ward and Triarch in addition to Sledgehammer Games. And it is likely that this version of the engine will be used in future installments of the series, which will save a lot of time for the companies to focus on the artistic part of the game to bring the best out of the Call of Duty series. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.